Hello friends, hope you are doing well. On a request of one of our friends, today we will show you how to take the backup of SQL Server. Hope you have seen my previous video where I have shown you how to create the package of SQL Server. So we will use the same package to install the agent. So before showcasing the backup of SQL Server, I will show you how to install first. How to install the SQL Server agent using the package, using the custom package. So we are using the same package which I created in the last previous video. So please see my previous video how to, to see how to create the custom package for SQL Server. I'm requesting you please like and uh, like my video and subscribe my channel to get the updates to get the latest update on all the latest videos so here you can see I have created a package in such a way that you can uh, this package can be used by non convert guy even the person who is not having a much knowledge of convert he can also install this package like a scenario if in if you and your organization you have different separate database team SQL database team and uh, they don't have knowledge of convert and being a IT admin being a convert backup admin you can provide this package to them and they can install Convert SQL agent on their database server. So all the process it will do automatic. Even the registration, configuration, and uh, that communication with the console and media agent, everything it will do by this package. So like that we have created the package. So as soon as they will install the agent, it will appear in your console console. I will show you how it will be. See, getting client configuration from console so all the processes it will do by itself so once it is installed it will appear in the console console so for the information um i have installed my sql agent on my console itself so i will show you how it is appear in the console console in the console itself it will it will appear yeah so it's how it, now it, installation is done configuration is done it is starting all the services maybe install on the server once it is done i will show you uh how it will appear in the console console and i will show you also how you need to do this command so installation is done uh before going for the console console i will show you uh one setting on the sql management studio which you can verify in case you want So in your organization, if you uh, you want to use a system user only for the uh, for the backup, right? I will show you. If you want to use a system user only for the backup, by default, uh, Commvault will take this system user. Uh, Commvault will use this system user for the backup. Right, and if you want to continue using of this system user, then you have to assign the sysadmin role to 
it was assigned this is admin role to this particular user okay in case if you don't want to use uh, the system user you can provide as a credentials also i will show you in the consequence of how you can provide this as a users let's go to console console okay so in the console console once the client installation is done it will appear in the client computer section as i said earlier i have installed the sql agent in my console itself so it will appear under the console room. here you can see right sql server is there so as i said if you don't want to use system user for the backup and so you can override the system account don't use the local system account in personal user here you can get the as a username and password right and if you don't want to use it just leave it as it is and please make sure you use this you check this box use vss because if you uncheck it any database which is in running mode the open database will not get backed up so in such condition it will use the sql vss to take the backup of open databases The, uh, either the work click on this or the scoter properties go to the content configure here you won't see any database right now you have to discover those once you click on the discover it will, all will appear here so in case you want to take the backup of all database just press ctrl a and change it to default subclient you can create any number of subclients and you can assign multiple addresses to multiple respective subclients please remember one database will assign to only one subclient one database cannot be associated with the multiple subclients that's okay so select the store policy which we have already created in case if you want to increase the streams you can increase the streams to six, five, four, anything. Right, and initiate the back. I will do the full back. Hope you are aware in job control, all the live activities related to backup, restore, anything, it will appear in the job controller. All the live running jobs will, will appear in the job controller. And once let me check this. Oh, what is it?
so this is full Yeah, now it has started. Actually, the my storage got full, and I have done the setting as seventy percent. Once seventy percent is so, once my user space reaches to seventy percent, it will make the library as offline. So I have given the another mount part. I have added another mount part, and now I am running the backup. So you can check the status live also here. Just you need to refresh it. Click on refresh and it will get refreshed. The backup which is completed, I'll show you. So in the status column, it will show you how uh, which of the database has been completed, which are in the pending, which are failed, the what is the failure reason, all the things to show you. And once it is done, it will show the percentage as hundred percent. Just click on refresh, and it will. So which is completely only one is remaining now. Yeah, completed. So, uh, yeah, uh, last ten percent remaining completed. So here you can see. It is completed in two minutes forty six minutes. Here you will get the complete report. What is the number of files? Means number of databases. What is the application? What is the compression and duplication we are getting? What is the saving percentage we are getting? All right. So everything you will get here. And most important is every throughput. What is the throughput you are getting for the database backup? And in case if you want to restore this, let me show you the option. I will not show you the exact restoration. I will show you the option where it will be. 
restore out of place restore it is advanced restore in case you want to restore some other location as the same server or different server another location if you want to restore it you can select first option and once you select this once the restore is done it will auto mount the database to the database server as well in the SQL management studio you can see that if you select second option restore to disk here it will uh, just restore as a file mdf and ldf files will get restored it won't mount automatically you have to manually mount it and if you want to restore database with some advanced capabilities then you have to select the advanced restore okay and in case if you want to the table level restore as i said you can do the table level restore as well granular recovery then you have to select the, the second option otherwise on the database you have to select this view content here it will show you all the databases select anyone recover here you will get the option to select destination client as you can see in my console i have only one server right so if in your scenario you have multiple sql servers in the console console you will get the, all the database all the clients here and their respective instances you will get here all right so you can so change the database name you can change the path all the thing you can say you can change and your respective size we are getting here what is the size required the free space required from the, the destination one once you click on ok it will start the recovery of that hope you like my video please like the video and subscribe my channel and please share your feedback in the comment box and if you want to see any other videos like such videos or any other specific feature you want to see let me know in the comment box thank you very much thank